How long does it really take to become a designer? Yesterday I was uh, scrolling through Instagram as I do once in a while and I found a reel um, with these guys who do trick shot. Now, I hadn't seen these trick shot guys ever before, but this video had this, uh, well, several different guys, but like the first shot was like of a guy and he throws something in and it immediately goes in. But the interesting thing about this video that I hadn't really seen before in other videos is at the bottom or the top, depending on how the video looked, there was a number, 1.5 years, 2.5 years, two years. And I thought it was really interesting because what they were doing was showing themselves doing all these trick shots and how many years into doing trick shots did they get these amazing results and it, it was really funny to watch and if you've seen this video like they would do it and then they would go crazy because they would get it in and I thought about how excited they were because I mean it was exciting because it had taken them so long to get whatever that shot was done now i'm not saying it took them 2.5 years to do that shot but it, it seemed clear that like over time they got better and better and better at trick shots so um how does this relate to design so often everybody comes to me and they say karina i want to make a hundred thousand dollars in you know 90 days or six months and I tell them, I had a PhD in design and I only made $30,000 the second year I was a designer. So what does that tell you? I mean, and this is someone who I had full design education. So the only piece I was trying to figure out was the business piece, the selling piece, how to get my products out there, how to get manufacturers. Like that was the only piece I was doing. And I had full design experience. And people come to me all the time and they say, Karina, I've never designed before or I've designed for only a couple of years or I just have a design like a four-year education that I haven't done for four or five years or maybe 10 years or 20 years. And I've never really sold my designs. And I would like to make $100,000 in six months. And I will straight out tell them it's impossible. And it's not because it's totally impossible but it's very, very unlikely. And the reason is because just like those trick shots, it takes time to figure out your style. It takes time to figure out what you're doing. It, times it takes time to understand, you know, SEO, keywords, business, and understanding how to sell your product as, you know, as something that customers actually want, which by the way, my next book, which will come out next spring, is really going to be all about customer acquisition. So I think you guys are really going to like this. Anyway, the bottom line is I wish there was a way to make $100,000 in six months. And there are if you're going to do freelance, but that's a really unstable, um, unstable area of study and uh, purpose. Doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's just it's a little more difficult. The way I like to teach design is that even a brand new beginner, beginner can make their first sale in eight to 12 weeks. Because to me, if I can show them how to do that, then they understand the long game. And that's what I really want for you. And I want you to start thinking about your mindset around how fast you wanna become a designer. Because if you just wanna become a designer, then the right thing to do is think it's going to take about three years, which is, by the way, how long it takes to build a normal business, right? It's going to take a little bit of time, but you're willing to do the work and make a little bit of money along the way to get you there. So if you've been going, how long does it really take to become a designer, Karina? I like to tell people three to five years. So if you are uh, an online entrepreneur or you own a brick and mortar, if you own any kind of business, typically what we've seen is it takes three to five years, pivoting, getting inventory, doing all the things to even become successful. And I saw that in my other businesses as well, three to five years. So it is no different than any regular business. Now, if you want to become an in-house designer somewhere, that means you work for a real estate company designing. You work for 
um, a huge corporation and you design whatever they tell you to design. That is a completely different deal. You don't have to understand and know business skills to get a job like that. You have to have exceptional uh, design skills to get that. And I would recommend if that is something you're looking for, we do do that, but a lot of times just going back to graphic design school is the way to go for that. Okay. It really is because that is what we train graphic designers to do. When I was at the university of Minnesota, we pumped out designers every year and they would go through a set core curriculum, foundations, classes, typography, color classes. Um, and then we moved them into things like packaging design, um, capstone projects, and there's a reason for that. It's because the main focus at a university is design. That's the way it is. And so if you want to work in-house somewhere, that's the path I suggest. If you are someone who's like, I want to learn how to do business, then we've got to do mash together an MBA along with a design degree to get there. So you've got this, you can do it. I think understanding and having the expectation level of three to five years is really helpful. And it really goes to show you that this is a long-term career. This is not something you can just throw together and hope it's all gonna work. Along with the business part, like the selling part, of course, we also have the actual learning software and design part, having an eye for it. And some people have told me, well, Karina, with the, you know, with AI coming up, like, how is that really going to look? And I have told them, and I've talked to some of my other designer friends, it's very clear that those who do not understand AI are going to be left behind. But you have to understand great design as well. Because if you don't, I have seen what AI puts out, it is not good enough. It still requires quite a bit of tweaking to get it where you need it to go. Um, and you're at the mercy style-wise of this AI. If you wanna start producing things, you've gotta figure out how to create your own style and move yourself forward. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. If you have not left a review on the podcast, I would love for you to leave one. Um, it is the lifeline of podcasts, and we come on three times a week to give you free information about how to become a designer. If you're on the YouTube channel, we would love for you to subscribe. It helps the channel, helps us learn more about what you want to uh, hear from us. And we love being here, love giving you guys more information on design. Can't wait to see you soon. Keep on designing. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.